Daphne Rubin Vega, happy anniversary from That's Kent Entertainment. Is that right? To That's Kent Entertainment. To That's Kent. Okay. <laughs> Not from. Okay. Hi, this is Daphne Rubin Vega, and happy anniversary to That's Kent Entertainment. One more time. Hi, this is Daphne Rubin Vega, and happy anniversary to That's Kent Entertainment. Studio has closed. Oh. Semper Fi, Harlequin. Semper Fi. What does that even mean? No! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's David! <laughs> Where have you been? Well, Ken, I've been talent hunting. Oh. There's none around here. <laughs> well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you know what? I've got a red beard, David's got a yellow beard, and Sal's got a beard named Mabel. <laughs> I'm just pointing out the obvious. Hey, <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, have we got a show for you tonight? That's right, it's none other than Penis Van Lesbian and Rita Moreno. Hey, wait a minute. Sal! What? You are the worst cue card cameraman ever! It's Dick Van Dyke and Cheetah Rivera! Right. Now, Cheetah... Che Cheetah Rivera? On the That's Kent Entertainment show? Cheetah Rivera... Little old me, appearing with... Cheetah Rivera... And why not? Why, I may ask yourself, not? Because... <laughs> it's a jolly holiday with Kenny. Kenny is Broadway's best friend. <laughs> and everyone loves Kent Entertainment. Though some folks say it's a pay amen. Hopes on high will bring an array amen. For the lyrical and rhythmic that they better change.
no. Get out of my way! But it's, oh, but it's the number. <laughs> <laughs> no start <Darn> slam. <laughs>of latin rhythms uh came about a few years ago when we all got together and we wanted to uh put our foot forward and help the community come together and uh uh, dealing with uh with obviously with aids and uh coming together to do something where broadway cares we're all part of the broadway community and uh what i did was try to bring the latin music world together with the with the broadway singers and dancers and we get such a wonderful group together led by our wonderful cheetah rivera and um, and great musicians coming this time. We've got two live bands wow. dancing uh, after the show, and um, special surprise guests uh, like uh, Eddie Palmieri and uh, Jimmy Bosch. Great musicians. So um, it's really a that's wonderful just, evening for yeah, us. Yeah, that's downright exciting. I mean, the the minute you step into BB King's, it's just going to be rocking because you don't hear in under one roof. You don't hear this kind of music, you know, um, and you don't see this kind of dance. And fabulous dancers from Broadway. should be much much more of it and for a very good cause so we have a blast we feel as though we're sharing our musical culture with broadway and um so and we're having a ball at the same time grow up with this at home and it's all part of our culture our parents play this music we listen to it we do and and usually when we do a broadway show we don't hear the music that we know and recognize so for us to have the authentic music authentic charts we're led by ray santos who's been orchestrating since 1947 for all the big mambo orchestras we have such a unique opportunity to show our dances to do the 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 right dances with the right songs and that's why i thought for long-term latin rhythms we have a nice through line of, of, of exposing all of the culture, the cultural dances, all of the rhythms that we do from merengue to samba to salsa to mambo to cha-cha-cha to conga. And the audience really builds on this. But we have a multiracial, multicultural audience, right. and they respond so well. They sing along with the songs, and they just uh, really jump on board. The energy in the room is just through the roof, and it's really great for everybody. <laughs> out to communities beyond Broadway. Through its national grants program, Broadway Cares supports smaller grassroots AIDS service organizations that operate on a local level across the United States and in Puerto Rico. Over 400 AIDS service organizations received much needed grant money in the last year alone because of Broadway Cares. George Balanchine, when you were studying with him, was it really hard to be contained at that school to go doing classical dancing? And did you just want to break out and do the music that you heard? <laughs> well, first of all, I was very young, <clears throat> very obedient. That's, and uh, you go to learn a technique, a ballet technique. 
Um, yes, uh, my spirit has always wanted to break loose. Uh, but when you are studying, that's a whole other bag of beans. So um, I was always um, clowning around a little bit or, or wanting to ch kind of change the rhythm when, the, when he wasn't looking, you know, to, 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 to a little Latin thing maybe, just as a sense of humor. But basically, um, you go to ballet for ballet. Uh, you go home and in the streets with your friends or at the Palladium at the time to, to do the, the kind of dancing that you, your soul really needs. <laughs> And this is kind of crazy for someone like me who can't even do the chicken dance properly, honestly. Um, seriously. Show me how. No, uh, but <laughs> for some of you. I don't want to do the chicken <laughs> dance. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> what do you two both feel when you're out there dancing? What is it that propels you to go out there and want it? We feel God. We feel <laughs> God, honey. Yes, we do. You have to learn how to do this because uh, <laughs> even the audience, the whole place just rolls and rocks because they can't, they can't help it. The, the rhythm is... Cy Coleman, a great uh, uh, composer, said the rhythm of life is a powerful beat. Puts a tingle in your fingers and a tingle in your feet. Well, that's exactly what this rhythm does. It, it brings your soul, you know, out and it makes you really want to wanna dance and, and live. It's a very exciting uh, culture. Well, We're very fortunate to be Latin. <laughs> <laughs> <You are. Yeah. laughs> But um, the, not that bad. Yeah, you should have seen me. I could hoof. Oh. I was able to tap, but Irish? only a little bit of Irish. Okay. Of yeah. Yeah. okay. Oh, yeah. If I could hear what I'm doing, then I could do it. Oh, I see. None of the jazz where it's in between and everything. Yes. <laughs> so, and finally, uh, the other night, actually, when, when you perform, I saw you the other night at the Chicago Benefit, mm. and I thought I would never in my life, and many other people thought we'd never see you doing all that jazz in Chicago, and I, I lost my mind, as half the audience did. <laughs> ah, that jazz. Come on, man, why don't we paint the tap? And all that jazz. 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 Come on, man, we're gonna brush the sky. How much I look at it, yeah, that was so hot. Because in the stratosphere, how could he lend an ear to all of us? The joy, it was uh, from you and the crowd and everybody, we went nuts. So doing the Chicago Memphis, what was it like, it wasn't probably 30 some years since you were on Broadway doing that number. Mm -hmm. It was, it was I think 35 years ago, but who's counting? Yeah. <laughs> you don't count. And when you, when you have the, the rhythm of life in your soul, when you have what we are really, really blessed with, you know, um, there is no such thing as age. It's all about spirit, you know. Pacheco and I, who's a writer, did, uh, did hundreds of pages of my uh, life, a lot of things that happened. And uh, Terence McNally took it and made it, made the picture. And Graziella Danielle 
choreographed it and directed it. And Mark Hummel put the, all the music. It's an evening of not only a person's life, but a, um, uh, honoring you know, the people that she's worked with. A cheater for me is the consummate performer. Um, she, she personifies grace and talent and kindness and just all of the highest ideals I think that a performer could could aspire to. As a young performer, you, you have all these hopes and dreams for yourself and you're one of millions and you know to hear Cheetah's story, it's just so empowering as a performer, it's unreal, you know, and I felt like I was witnessing a piece of history. There is such a, uh, such a fantastic humanity and um, such great just compassion for the world that she has. It's just, she's a f phenomenal and unique human being. You just feel, um, you feel like, well, that's, that's what a human can be. You know, that's something to live up to, whether or not you're a dancer in the theater. She's just, she's a magnificent energy. Breathtaking, inspirational. I am so grateful to be a part of this evening. History in the making. Um, this is a historical evening, and I wouldn't be here without this woman, and uh, I am just so thankful for her. She's got a presence that is unbelievable, unmatched, and those eyes, those legs, everything. She's incredible. A bit of an inspiration for you? A ton of inspiration. I can only hope to be doing that later in my life. I, yeah. I think she's... I think she's a goddess. Well, I have been in love with Cheetah Rivera since I thought I could ever possibly be in this business. And uh, she has been, like for a lot of other people, a role model. I'm not essentially a dancer, but when I was in those dance classes all those years, I would imagine I was Cheetah. Brilliant, tear jerking, passionate, rememberable. Um, <laughs> what do you else want? This month most not. Remember I it? made it up. Oh, <laughs> she likes she said. You said it is now. Uh, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> she says things about my voice, you know, like I can't say this on television. What does she say? But it was a, a fucking void. But uh, she's. Uh, <laughs> it was like the most entertaining history lesson. <laughs> I don't mean I mean that in the sense that you know I was one of the you know silly people who's like who's um, uh, I'm not even going to quote but like the 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 history of the choreographers and the place that she came from in terms of dance and the experiences it was fascinating and to just watch her she's a diva and totally earned it you know yeah fabulous she's just what's the word I want an adjective Effervescent. Do you like that one? Is that, that's a good. That's a. That's a five and a half dollar word. My favorite moment is when she uh, talks about Gwen and says she's the closest thing to the magic of Charlie Chaplin. There's men everywhere, jazz everywhere, booze everywhere, life. Everywhere joy, everywhere nowadays. You know, I think that's an incredible moment. So, so Gwen, you know. <laughs> think only of, of working, you know, you think of doing it, you think of, oh my God, my teacher will kill me if I don't do it right, you know what I mean? So you don't think of any of that stuff. If you're lucky enough, you work with the people that I've worked with, and, and it turns out good. 
it, but it's hard work. Great guys are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. Wipe off the clouds and cheer up. Put on a happy face. Take off the gloomy mask of tragedy. It's not your style. You look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile. <laughs> So clearly everybody here loves you, obviously. So when you guys were going to school and you were learning to sing and dance and act and all that stuff, did, was there a class that taught you how to deal with press and deal with all the insanity of fans? Did we think we would do this? There were no classes like that. <laughs> you didn't think you'd be in such a position? No. <laughs> I don't get much attention. I love this. Did you think that you would one day? <laughs> <laughs> Did you think that you would have a microphone in front of Dick Van Dyke's face one day? Or cheating. there you go. No. You know, you just don't. You don't. You don't. You just do what you do and try to get to a point that you enjoy in your life. Thank you for Let me ask you too, because I know everybody in the world wants to hear. Uh, back then, back now, is there a moment where you came together and you said? Oh yeah, this is all clicking back together. We're we're working okay here. Oh sure, it was like right off the bat to me. It was back it was forty like, some yeah. years ago. It's uh, yeah. honestly, it's like you know when you have a great friend you haven't seen in a long time, and then you see this great friend, and, and it's like no time has gone by. That's true. That's what's that. That's what Very this true. is like. So it's all come back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you're adorable. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Life is one. Sweet, beautiful song to me. <laughs> is there anything in the future that you still want to do? Live. Just live. Healthy. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm no one's wife, but I, I love my life and all, all the, all the Do you have a favorite moment? Um, <clears throat> my favorite moment was when she was talking about um, doing the film, not doing the film of West Side Story and being devastated, but then being fine about it later. It's, she actually didn't say she was fine about it later, but I'm fine about it. <laughs> yeah, is, it is it weird for me to ask about that? I'm sorry? Hi! Hi! <laughs> You just messed up my total moment. You, Mario Cantone. Is that weird for me to ask about? No, with all the success of the Rent movie. Um. Yeah, I can totally relate to that moment, but you know, it's fine. If we don't, you know, die or, or get bitter, we get stronger. Merman didn't do Gypsy. Carol didn't do Hello Dolly. You're 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 in great company. Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah, Cheetah. She's fabulous. Awesome. Yes. You got I have a new respect for her, actually. All kidding aside, I have tremendous respect for her. Fossey. Thoughts about the show? And, hey, yeah. It, it was fantastic. I, I urge everybody to go and see it. Even if you're not in the, if you are in theater, you have to see it. If you're a dancer, it's mandatory. And um, I don't care actually even what branch of dance you're in. If you're a concert modern dancer, you have to see it. If you're a ballet dancer, you have to see it. If you're a hip hop dancer, you have to see it. You just have to see it if you're a dancer. Oh, you're so fun on the show. Oh. So how do I get you a copy? I don't know. So send, I send it, it to me. Such great enthusiasm. That? You know, it's not feigned either. This is not, oh, hi, this was a really great show. I loved it. And this is absolutely, I'm speaking completely from the heart. And I wish I could gush more. Yeah. Uh, thank you so very much. You're welcome. Really it's always it. good to I see you. Tell me your name again. Okay. How's this? Hi, Ken. So that's Kentertainment. Kentertainment. You're Ken. I know that's Kentertainment. Hi, Ken. Again. 
<laughs> Have you and Cheetah ever chatted, Cheetah and you chatted about uh, your Chicago or the dancing or any tips or anything like that or any pitfalls or um, anything? No, I don't, I don't think, I don't think we ever did, you know, I think she told me, um, no, no, we never really did, no. I love it. It was great. It was great. I'm too emotional right now to talk, but uh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just, um, no, I guess it never really came up. <laughs> Ask her at the party. <laughs> <laughs> Little old me appearing with <laughs> your zippers undone. <laughs> when you're talking like a very elderly pet midler. <laughs> yeah, you know, I followed her into uh, Kiss of the Spider Woman in London. After she finished doing it in London and the Americans came here to open Broadway, there was a mostly British cast, but I, I, I hate to say I replaced her, but I took the role after she left it <laughs> in London. And, um, you know, there were tips she gave me on that. I got to follow her around backstage. I mean, what an incredibly generous person to take you around and go, now when you come up this ladder, you know, this is off stage for an entrance, watch out for that shin buster there, or watch it here, and this is where you're going to do this. And she'd made me a list of, she said, all the things that I know and nobody else knows. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's, a, she's a remarkable human. Much. Thank I you. I, I appreciate the opportunity to, to yeah. say great things about her. Happy birthday. We're very excited to be a part of this celebration tonight. And have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Au revoir. <laughs> and in my last show, I had to speak some French. I was a nervous wreck. <laughs> Are you an actor? You. You're, you are. I can. How did I know that? <laughs>